Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the Microsoft Windows Search Indexer is experiencing high CPU usage. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is right click on a blank area of your taskbar and select Task Manager. You want to scroll down underneath Windows Processes, and then just click on a random entry in here and type in Windows Explorer. Alternatively, you could just continue to scroll down. I just find that's quicker just to click on an item in here and just start typing it in. You can also search for it up at the top here as well. So when you locate Windows Explorer, you want to right click on it and select Restart. Give that a moment. And then hopefully, again, that would have been able to resolve the problem for you. And then once it's done, go ahead and close out of here. Open up the search menu and type in indexing. Best match, you'll come back with indexing options. Go ahead and open that up. And now that we're in here, you want to select the modify button. Make sure all of your items in here are checkmarked, except for Internet Explorer history. You don't necessarily need that. I mean, it doesn't really matter either way. It's kind of strange that they still have that in Windows 11, but we can go ahead and select our local disk in here and then select OK. And then this will take some time to actually go ahead and index all your files in there. So I would recommend giving that a little bit of time. And if you're still having a problem, you can select the Advanced button. And then underneath Troubleshooting, Delete and Rebuild Index, you can select the Rebuild button. So this, again, would take quite some time to complete. You would select OK. Again, let it run. It would tell you when it's completed. And then hopefully at that point, the issue has been resolved. One final thing we can try as well would be to run a system file tracker utility scan. So after you've exhausted those other options, we can open up the search menu, type in CMD. Again, you want to let all those scans finish successfully. We kind of are jumping ahead a little bit because it could take a half hour or an hour or longer, depending on how many files you have on your computer. So anyway, we're underneath command prompt. We're going to go right click on it and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes, and then into this elevated command line window, type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word, attach to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that has concluded, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully this point of issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.